Hey, what's going on guys? This is Salmon's Level X and we're back here in Pokemon Masters to look at the new free-to-play sync pair that has just released with the new uh, Gather Up Dream Duo story event. So, <clears throat> this is Kaylee, the Furiso girl, one of Valerie's gym trainers, and she is a support type pair, and when it comes to her kit, she's got Draining Kiss and Bubble Beam, so two two, uh, two, two gauge moves, and an X defense all, and her trainer move, it raises the special attack of all allied sync pairs by two, raises the special defense of all allied sync pairs by one, and applies gradual healing to her. And her passive, quick tempo, applies move gauge acceleration whenever she enters battle, flame proof, and she's prevented from being burned, and she gets fire guard. So she seems to be really, really good against fire type Pokemon, especially, you know, someone like Moltres who can hit really, really hard with their fire moves, but you also won't be getting burned because of Flame Proof, and you'll have the Fire Guard for the negation of that damage. Uh, and Bubble Beam, or whatever, you, or Draining Kiss, whichever you want to use in order to, you know, either heal or potentially go for some speed debuffs and stuff like that. And when it comes to her Sync Grid, uh, this is the current grid I'm running. She's got Stat Leech 3, which, you know, can proc her to debuff any stat. And you can also pick up Bubble Beam on a roll 4, so she has a 50% chance of debuffing speed with Bubble Beam. Move Gauge Refresh, Grass or Ice Guard, or, I think down here, uh, no, I know, I think another, actually, actually there's another one. Grass and Ice Guard here in case you're going up against a Grass or an Ice enemy, so she can be very, very useful for facing them in terms of, you know, taking a hit. Definitely could be good against somebody like, uh, Tapu Bulu in the Legendary Gauntlet or something like that. Um, draining kiss, move gauge refresh, that's what I picked up. And down here she's got panic button, so whenever she gets to uh, pinch health or whatever it is, I think it's like 25%, I think, maybe 30%, um, she'll apply move gauge acceleration to the team. And she gets first aid too, so pick that up for some extra healing. Uh, and I have another grid here that we'll show off a little bit later. With first aid two, wise, team wise entry one, so whenever she enters a battle she raises the ally's uh, special defense. Panic Button, Grass, and Ice Guard. So, we'll, we'll keep uh, this grid here so far because I do think the Stat Leech 3 is a little bit better because you might be able to, you know, get some free debuffs in there if you need. So, we're running her here with Archie and May. Reminder, completely free. Pick this, pick this unit up. Like, don't have to do anything for her, but whatever. So, I'm running her with Archie and May here. Archie's obviously able to max his own crit, but he also is, but he does lower his defenses whenever he uses his trainer move so you can definitely use her to kind of mitigate those effects and obviously she has fire guard so going against Entei here she will not take as much damage as <clears throat> a lot of as some other free, uh, free pairs would so definitely very very good <coughs> um and since she has quick tempo that means we have the move gauge acceleration for these first few turns here definitely very very good very very good effect to have uh we'll go for the muddy water with may even though we only have plus one crit and then we'll go for X defense all. So of course, Kaylee is giving herself the gradual healing, so she'll she'll be really really good in order to you know heal herself and keep herself alive for all these type of battles, which is definitely a very very good thing to have. Of course, uh, go for I'll go for Maze Sync move. I think is probably the better option here, and then I'll go for X defense all. So yeah, even though uh, Entei is mostly a special attacker, having the X defense all to buff physical defenses might help with units you know like Tough Cookie or these other multipliers that really require you to have whatever stat buffs like you know defense buffs of course and uh if you try to pick up whatever it is um team wise entry then of course you're going to be able to get in the uh get in the special defense debuffs a little bit better than you naturally would be able to before sure we applied rain there um one kaylee's uh <laughs> kaylee okay let's get her defense here uh her debuffs here Kaylee's big thing is that, of course, she doesn't have speed, so she's a lot better in these, like, shorter battles, like, you know, Legendary Gauntlet, stuff like that. Definitely a lot better type of content to bring her into. You might have to deal with her, like, speed issues, as you can definitely tell right here. She's having speed issues, but she is she is really, really taking these hits here extremely, extremely well. Uh, Iron, of course, she's not going to be able to take an, uh, an Iron Tail really well because she doesn't have Steel Guard. But that water guard is definitely really, really useful for, you know, fighting these fire type enemies. I didn't, I didn't even know we were on the last phase. I'll be honest, uh, and all of that good stuff. So definitely, definitely a very, very useful pair when it comes to fighting fire type enemies and stuff like that. And obviously, since we're gonna have the ice and grass guard, we can fight grass and ice type enemies. Um, I'm gonna go against Bulu right here. I have to find Bulu. Right there. 
Um, big thing with Bulu, of course, is he has grassy terrain, so he's going to be buffing his own grass type damage and mostly using grass type attacks. Obviously, he can throw in a brutal swing there, or I think uh, I think he has another type move. I don't remember, but mostly grass type moves like wood hammer. I think he's got energy ball. I don't remember. I actually don't remember. I know he has wood hammer though. I think he might have horn leech, but again, I'm not sure. Uh, let's pick up her grass and ice guard grid here. Um, she definitely is really good as a tank, but you're going to need another support to buff something like speed, because even though she is able to buff, uh, apply move gauge acceleration with, um, on entry and, of course, with, uh, panic button here, she definitely, if you're fighting those grass, ice, or uh, fire type enemies there, then she's definitely going to be not taking a lot of hits, and your team's going to run out of gauge really, really quickly, and even if she's not taking damage, the sync moves are going to be hurting your sides, your, uh, other sides, so you're definitely going to want to bring something like, like, you know, Skyla here or whatever any type of support that can apply speed bust or something like that uh obviously having to bring uh two supports generally is not n optimal but it's something you can work with and all of that stuff i'll go ahead and bring anniversary steven because of course anniversary steven gets more stuff depending on how high his stats are raised uh more you know more damage depending on how high his stats are raised so definitely can use her uh and make that thing i mean make the um Good form? Yeah, good form. Took a while to think of the name. Make the good form uh, work even better. So, Use, using her for that is not a bad idea. Energy ball, even in the grassy terrain, didn't do too much. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, we'll go for the dragon ascent here. Just might as well. So, yeah, uh, having the single striker setup instead of, like, you know, the dual striker setup is probably a lot more beneficial to your team. Uh, because Kaylee, obviously, will have, of course, speed issues sometimes, but... Uh, if you can either fight small content or, like, um, Champion Stadium type of content, where it's slow, or not slow, fast, I mean, I mean very, the, kind of the opposite, where it's, like, very, very fast, then you definitely will have a lot less issues with the speed, because the move gauge acceleration will consistently be up. Uh, I do, I am curious as to how she will take this grass impact. Of course, she has gradual healing, so she's gonna be, you know, healing herself and whatnot with gradual healing and, of course, draining kiss. The... <laughs> it didn't do anything to her, really, at all. Uh, draining Kiss, of course, there is going to heal up a very small margin of health. But then, of course, you've got the draining, uh, the gradual healing, which, of course, applies a lot more. Uh, we'll, give, we'll go ahead and get her Sync move in here. <clears throat> I'm fine with that. Uh, get in the Bubble Beam there and get the heal back in. Let's see how a Seed Bomb handles. Because Seed Bomb is a relatively strong attack, I would say. Yeah, she's definitely not taking a lot of damage here. Those, the Grass Guard definitely does help her take a lot less damage than she uh, generally would otherwise. Got the sync buff in there, yeah. So, this is what Kaylee looks like against these type of enemies that have, you know, these ice, fire, or uh, grass moves. Definitely a very, very good ability to have. Let's go take her into the champion stadium so we can see her, you know, working with uh, other pairs and using her support side to actually, you know, buff other pairs instead of, you know, just taking hits. So, let's go over there. All right, guys, we're back over here versus Kogo uh, with the Kaylee Showcase here. And so I think that she is going to be able to buff and special attack really well here. And even though we don't have Sun, I think the debuffs from N and Gets us here are going to do a pretty decent to uh, defeat Kogo here. Uh, I just want to see how well she could tank in a normal situation where she's not really facing those ice, grass, or fire moves. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these stat drops in here, and then we will just see how it goes. Electro Web, uh, yeah. I think she's actually weak to electric, so that... <laughs> That's gonna hurt quite a bit, but it's fine. Eh, well, she actually takes that. Per she took that pretty well, I would say. Um, then we'll go for a noble roar with N, and then we'll go for another final noble roar with Getsus. Uh, yeah, we can also again, of course, get the stat uh, debuffs in there. Yeah, we got the uh, we got a small evasion debuff, I think, as what I saw. Yeah, we got a plus one evasion debuff, which of course isn't really much, but it is definitely something, something to note. Uh, she is taking these. Electro Robes relatively well, even though they are, of course, AoE attacks, so they're not going to be doing much to begin with anyway. But it's not that big of a problem. Alright, so Blue Flare is not going to be doing too much, but it's not... Eh, it should be fine. Uh, probably not going to... Obviously, definitely not going to pre-sync this, because, of course, look at the... Um, I'm trying to think of the... I'm trying to think of what I'm thinking about here. Uh, of course, her move gauge acceleration isn't applying because she is not at the pinch health yet, and it looks like she's going to probably... Yeah, she, of course, fainted before we were able to get that off because we got to that very unlucky amount of HP in total. Because, uh, obviously, you know, this is master mode. Definitely going to... 
be pretty uh, tough to definitely gonna be pretty tough in order to actually you know uh, get to that to survive a sink move stuff like that uh, this sink move probably won't even kill <laughs> um, I, I didn't want to beat the enemy anyway so oh it's, it's still one okay we still won anyway but yeah her special attack buffing and special defense buffing side it, while it, it, it can be useful and her defense buffing of course normal defense can be useful the big thing is that she is a tank she could take a hit and you're the main thing is that she, you want to have self-sufficient strikers or at least self-sufficient in their crit in order to uh, damage the enemy while kaylee is taking his not really applying too much to the team but of course when she gets down to that low amount of hp if the enemy's not dead she will apply move gauge acceleration being able to help out with the speed quite a bit with that um overall when it comes to her as a sync pair i think that she she's I wouldn't say she's more on the niche uh, niche side, but she is definitely she definitely cannot do as much as a lot of these other modern sync pairs or even some support sync pairs, like such as Lodge Blue. So she definitely has a couple quirks to her, but she can be ran pretty well, and she can definitely be a nice and easy clear in stages against you know uh, Entei, Tapu Bulu, like in these legendary arenas, or like uh, I think I, I don't know if any of you I think I think. Latios or Latios, I think they have Blizzard or Icy Wind or something like that. Something like that. They can take. She can definitely uh, take those ice attacks and stuff like that. And of course, she's gonna have gradual healing, draining kiss. So you can do a lot there. And if you want to like try to mitigate the gauge issue, you can of course go for NPR on her trainer move or her X defense all in order to not have to use any gauge with draining kiss or bubble beam. Whatever you choose to do there. Overall, not a bad unit. I would say definitely can be ran. Definitely can be used. Definitely fun pair nice uh azumarill's nice cool pokemon uh viruso girl nice cute pair whatever stuff like that uh so glad we got a nice i'm so glad we got another cool free-to-play unit for new year's here of course another npc like you know the hex maniac and um the sightseer naomi and uh helena so glad we got another free one of these pairs and she's actually pretty decent so uh, I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you think of Kaylee down in the comments below, and I will see you all later.